Oh good, we got the turn of the month there as well. Let's make a move on our own capital and we will wo 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 wipe him. DDR undeserved luck strikes again. We'll leave you there with some chump change. Well done. So maybe that's not chump enough. And the rest of you make it for Luango. Maybe wait for Mbamba as well. Rigged. I will not be shouldering any accusations of rigging this game. The fact that I work on it is just a nice little side effect. Oh, none of these guys have my siege individual. Well, if there's one thing I want, it's my capital back, because it's the thing that's costing me war exhaustion here. Get to it. Jake, I bet you could never become the most powerful nation as Haida. Haida, if I'm not mistaken, is that three development OPM Native American stuck in Alaska. You know, I somewhat believe that I could become the most powerful nation as them. I mean, I have every confidence I could. Heck, it wouldn't even be a challenge. Let me just throw that one down. Okay, Kano is keeping it together to a horribly good degree. Benin still have their uh, alliance with them. However, Kano don't really seem to field many troops. Must be because of... Well, they have plenty of problems, frankly. Still, speaking of plenty problems, this war exhaustion is not pretty. And the, uh, shall we say, situation on my capital ain't helping. I can't believe he nailed that on 7%. That was uh, horrible news for me. And unless we can get it back in a jiffy... Oh, and uh, Congo is not integrating anybody. DDR standing for deserved dice rolls. Now that I can get behind. Okay, I'm getting so much war exhaustion here. It's almost tempting to collapse to rebels, but uh, then we might see our good man Congo back. And we don't want that. Although, collapsing to peasants wouldn't be so bad. Holy smokes, could be getting rebels real soon. Let's get this back, pretty please. Should have sent out those feelers earlier to get him off my capital, but I didn't think he'd wreck through it that fast. <laughs> and my increasing war exhaustion is hurting my siege ability as well. Come on, Loango. Been a long time since I've capped the war exhaustion. Oh, I could cry at this rate. There we go. That's a lot of war exhaustion. And that is going to significantly increase my coring times here. Still, we get all your land. Uh, not really sure it's worth taking all your money. But I will probably take most of it anyway. Sure, tons of inflation, <clears throat> but I need the raw ducket right now. So we'll take that, and one of the lovely side effects is that Indongo is our vassal. And Indongo, tell me more about your feelings towards us. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, we have a solution here. We have a great solution. Buy the land, please. I'm almost tempted to take your money for it. Holy moly, I am very tempted to take your money for it. Mostly because that'll stop you from raising an army. Sure, the inflation in me is horrible, but if you don't have an army, then... Um, what am I trying to say? You won't get increased liberty desire against me. 
Alright, so what do we do? Now we have uh, all these people that really want to rise up against us. We'll sell as much land as we can before we consider how to deal with that. Oh, and we are definitely not paying our troops anymore, heavens no. I do not want to commit... Uh, yeah, we'll definitely be coring up our claims. The rest of these, uh, I'd like to think how to deal with that. We'll at least give you two provinces. I don't need sad music, I need more triumphant music right now. Wow, they still want to give me money? Yeah, that's the alarm bells for uh, Loango's war exhaustion. Okay, you know, I'm fairly confident this will be alright. Tanking our prestige to do this, but that's okay. We'll improve your relations, and I think... I think I'll core the rest of it. I'll core these two myself. Definitely increasing autonomy, though, because holy crapola, check that unrest. Actually, what was the cost to core these? 54% extra. That's no joke. I would like that uh, admin back, please. Now I have the ability to remove this war exhaustion completely. And I'm going to do it. <laughs> for better or for worse. Well, almost completely. I need to get rid of all of it. It's a shame, though. I really want this next... Uh, diplomatic technology. I will need it, actually, if I want to annex Benin. Probably. Let's check that. Yep, I will need it. I won't be getting much of it at this rate. When can I upgrade? <laughs> In 11 years. Yeah, that was costly. Oh well, at least for now we can improve our relations with Ndongo. Adminocide. Yeah, adminocide. Diplomacide. And once we get these cored, we'll be, uh... Huh, these guys aren't even gonna up, uh, rise up. Occupied capital is fairly harsh. I believe it's minus 20 prestige. That seems oddly high, though, but uh, we have our bonus to prestige. Religious sacrifices and all. Incorporate in Dongo, recover negative stability. Well, the negative stability is the one that's more likely to happen. Benin. We are unable to justify trade conflict. Because they don't have enough in Ivory Coast. That's a shame you had more last time. Oh well, it was later on last time as well. Oh, well that's lovely. If I didn't this happen last time? Still, I will take the free dip. Because heck, I need the free dip. Yeah, I need more power and Benin needs more power. These kind of conflict each other quite a lot. That's strange, they look like they have plenty. Yeah, they got 19% and we only have 7. But that'll change when we integrate our most loyal and beloved vassal, Ndongo. And you might say, Jake, what are you saying? You can't do it that fast, to which I wave my shoot. Hmm. Hmm. There's some bad things happening here. Okay, might as well marry you, why not? People rejoiced when they heard the news that a young princess had been born. They have celebrated for days and nights, but you have not named your young daughter. 
noble with an average claim. Or denied newborn daughter. So I can either kick her out and hope for something better. 252 is pretty good though. But pretty good isn't great. Chance of new air minus 100%. No. I want a male. Marriageable daughter. Yeah, kick her into the Gulf of Congo. I've never read the flavor for that. Denied newborn daughter. The people are concerned about the lack of succession after you did not name your newborn daughter your heir. People are also concerned that you may have eaten your daughter. Too bad. They still have that 19% in Ivory Coast. I need it to be 20. Refusing demands used to lose you stability. Now if you have uh, no stability, it actually... Uh, yeah, it results in the nasty case of... Um, minus 100 admin. So more admin aside. Tend to throw you a gift just to get this done faster, but... No, may as well improve relations. Let let everything smooth over for a bit. And it'd be as well getting some more men on my side as well. Chew down the manpower whilst we have the time to get it back. Yeah, 252 is alright, but yeah, the distribution is poor and it was a woman, so I couldn't make them a general. And what else? Uh, they had an average claim. I mean, why settle for average? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Why settle for average indeed? Can I have my daughter back? I can fish her out of the Congo. Okay, one thing that I've been neglecting to do is increase my relations with people over here. Mossy is a dangerous individual. We're going to need some better relations over there. Benin still have their marriage with Dahomey and Kano. And Kano, did you get bigger? How did you not die to all those revolts, I wonder? Benin and Stronghai, so you have good friends. Uh, you're still a militarist, though. I was hoping you would be going gung-ho. Ah, oh, well. Yeah, why settle for average when you can have rubbish? That's okay. Loango has a long way to go. No, wife, I will not settle for an average girl. I shall have a retarded son. Is Moe Poati Loanga even a male? Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to tell me anything until they're of age. Disappointing. Yeah, Henry V's distant African cousin is now my heir, it seems. I should have sold more land to uh, Indongo. They really do not want to rise up. It's almost like we're historical friends or something. We're not, but it's almost like we are. Oh, Crivens. This is horrible. So now we have a Regency Council for our average heir. I hope the heir dies.
Well, at least the Regency Council's not bad. Maybe they can educate my heir in a thing or two. I hate to commit more adminicide, but I'd, I'd rather have a bit of income. If you're in a regency and the heir dies, eventually the regency will go away and you'll get a noble. noble. And that is what I'm really hoping happens, because I am in a prime position to attack with this new military technology. I mean, I hit four. Some of these guys, I'm sure, are still scraping their teeth with sticks from Tech 2. Well, some of them. Yeah, some of the stronger ones, certainly not. Fighting with Oyo and Dagbon, that's not going to be uh, difficult for you. It's somewhat troubling as well. It's not going to give you any extra power in the node that I want you to have power in. They only have 17 in Ivory Coast. A lot of troubling developments. Welcome in Dongo. Oh, and thanks for the free troops. You really make me regret having built those other troops. Well, almost. We'll get rid of enough just so that it stops costing us the money. And then we're fine. You guys get over to Luango. So the nice thing about this is that I don't have... Um, well, it's not that I don't have any unrest, but they don't have any separatism. Also, integrating, integrating a vassal now only gives it six-day autonomy, which is lovely. But here I can do little other than... Uh, Little other than nothing as poor Regent, uh, Regent Loango. Whilst the guys to the north grow ever stronger. And by guys to the north, I mean Loango. Their aggressive expansion has melted away and no one wants to stop them. Whilst they keep some pretty strong alliances. I was hoping that Mossy would start digging into Songhai. And that would drag in the Kano, but Kano's not having any... Oh! Kano switched to Sunni. That could become useful for me, but it also might not. Yeah, the wasteland gets revealed to me. There's a silver lining and all that. So both Benin and I lack the powers that we need. Oh, Benin got 22%. I need just a fraction more and I'll be fine. Where am I going to find that fraction? Really, I would get that from other people losing it. Hmm. Oh well, even if I get a trade conflict, I don't think that... Uh... Ooh, it's all bad. I really need that uh, dip. Yeah, development gives a touch of trade power, but here's the thing, even if I had that uh, little bit of trade power, wouldn't let me justify that trade conflict. Um, the trade conflict wouldn't last long enough. I need my heir to die very soon. Very, very soon. Till then, there is just more adminicide to be, uh, to be committed. Hmm. Embargo your rivals. Yeah. Rivals. Those. There are no appropriate nations for Loango to pick as a rival, either due to being too strong or too weak compared to your neighbors. I'll go with too strong. Sounds like something that wouldn't have me cry into the night. Okay, mostly getting beaten up by Dagbon. That's not great. I thought Mossi and Zazao had allied, but apparently not. I 
Okay, you attack Dagbon. Tragica. Yeah, a trade ship or two would uh, <clears throat> help with the situation here. So would stability, because my trade power is hurt. That trade efficiency does not affect power. I do want that dip power, but I also really want some ducat. Yeah, you know, trade efficiency will help us out here. And they're all boasting their tech threes. <coughs> tech five is still a bit of a pipe dream. I can't even fight the man. Well, better to prepare for the storm. Oh. I started with light ships. Oh, right, Bark is a light ship. It's heavy that we don't have. Once upon a time, Bark used to be a heavy ship, right? Right? I'm not imagining that, am I? I wonder if one will be enough. That two trade power might just put me over the edge. Oh, also, as my... Um, oh, what's it called? As my autonomy goes down, my trade power will go up. Jake, the wiki says half of all trade efficiency is added as a bonus to trade power. Is it wrong? It's not really wrong as it is outdated. The economy is getting somewhat cleansed. You'll notice that there's no national trade income modifier anymore. That's what trade efficiency now is and does. I guess I do need that uh, production efficiency, and I'll need those uh, ideas eventually. Nobody wants to be my friend. Maybe if I embargoed them, it would bring it down in some strange degree that would work out? That brought down their tried their power, but that didn't really help me out at all. Mercantilism brings up trade power, but it also gives me an absent merchant for ten years. Holy crap! That will definitely stop me from being able to do this. Mind you, ten years is almost the length I've got that for. Ugh, it's both awful. Oh well. Jake the Pretenders. A 2-2-2 two, two, two with a strong one, eh? I would like them. The question is where do they want to rise up? And the answer is only on my cap. Oh, no, not quite only on my capital. They want to rise up all around here. Could reduce that, making it more likely for them to jump on in. It's dangerous, though. Because if I do that, then the uh, decreased autonomy lasts for 30 years. Worth it. Let's get ourselves some pretenders. We've got a free army for that as well. Do we now have 5% of the power? It's a tragedy. Get ourselves a bit more. May as well pay this one one boat of ours. And you know what? It's not even worth having this army anymore. Let's get rid of most of it. Save some money. Maybe these guys can go camping somewhere. Oh, there's some uh, not very aggressive natives over there, so we'll hang out down here. All 
also make it slightly more likely to get some pretenders. Pretenders no longer raise autonomy, if I'm not mistaken, so that's a nice touch. Ah, this is a shame. I was hoping I could go marching up north and kicking some ass. But situations dictate otherwise. Let's get that trade efficiency. Only funded troops lower unrest. True that. There's a good point to be made for moving my capital inland so I don't keep getting such horrible malices for having my capital blockaded. Oh, that's unfortunate. I would love this. But increased uh, legitimacy is decreased uh, war exhaust, um, decreased revolt risk, and I'm looking for unrest right now. Yeah, this kind of offsets those sweet, sweet shock rolls. I believe in you there. Oh, if we collapse, that will recover our negative prestige, uh, our negative stability. May as well go with that, whilst looking for people to curry favour with. Some of our improved relations have really gone down the toilet here. Come on, strong high. Well, perhaps instead of just jumping into people that I know I can utterly slaughter, I can instead um, jump in on people that end up getting into war. And by people, I mean hope. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, damn. No, it's just that you made Dahomey a vassal. Which means you're probably free for another um, diplomatic tie. Which is going to make you stronger and more difficult to take down. Jake, move your units to the wasteland. My units are in a place where uh, separatists want to rise up rather than pretenders. So there's not too much of a bother there. Well, at least I'm able to tech pretty nicely here, but I really don't want this one making it in charge. Come now, you're meant to rise up in a year. Soon I'll start funding my units, probably when it hits 80%. I'll march them into the, uh, not wasteland, but the uncolonized province. This is actually really good, it'll reset my stability to uh, zero. What? Now? While on a hunt, our heir's party was ambushed by a band of unknown assassins, outnumbered and attacked from all... Uh, attacked from cover all but one, fell there and then. The survivor, though wounded by a poison arrow, lived long enough to tell us of a valiant last stand of Mwepa Pwati Loanga. Tall and mighty he stood. Okay, so it was a man cutting the creatures one by one until the last of the bodyguards succumbed. Oh well, what a tragedy. What the heck happens now? Interregnum seizes control. Oh, jeez, if I get the greatest of rulers right now. Uh, now I'm going to be stuck between a rock and a hard place. Let's pay up just in case. Jake, now you've heard of Regan missionaries in Congo. <laughs> Holy smokes. What now, game? What now? Genuinely curious as to what you're going to give me. Let's not tech up on that just yet. It'll make everyone else easier to tell. Although, God, it would be ideal time to ta attack if I had tech 5 to their tech 3. With or without coalition. Um, with or without Cassus Belly. And you know, that trade conflict isn't going to be making itself. I almost kind of wish I'd taken the lose one mercantilism. I know that doesn't sound like me. Lux Stella will fire now, I'm pretty sure, and I wish. Somebody said, was that Castile sailing by with 20 ships? I hope not. 
but it could well have been. Who rules the country now? Well, 